next one list here we got news courtesy of art news i went to just or artnet news sorry i went to speak about it only because it kind of wraps up a story that i've spoke about already in the podcast concerning christian rosa and forge raymond pettibon artworks or stolen artwork right this is a pretty crazy story about somebody an artist who i was kind of familiar with when he first started coming up because he happened to be the kind of a toast around town in the contemporary art world circles a couple of times i'd been to like gallery openings here in the uk i'd heard his name mentioned a few places people were talking about him like he was the next big thing i didn't really get the art i thought it was a bit you know a little bit meh, whatever it just looked like something that you'd maybe buy from ikea or something it didn't necessarily speak to me in any meaningful way but clearly you know he was doing great things popping up maybe this was the start of bigger and brighter things and then suddenly it went quiet i didn't really hear too tough too much about the dude and then out of nowhere this story comes out that he allegedly um was taken under the wing of raymond pettibon the legendary artist himself and somehow he betrayed the trust of raymond and decided to um nick a couple of artworks for himself and then he even decided i think to make even a couple of forgeries that he then sold on um as original works which clearly weren't and for whatever reason i don't know that's something also i'm not too sure about because clearly there was a relationship between raymond pettibon and christian rosa to the point where raymond felt comfortable enough inviting him in his home and letting him stay with him i wonder what turned him to the point where he decided to press charges because i imagine that sort of thing happens quite often with young up and coming artists. Maybe once they're taking advantage, but like taking liberties, right? Maybe they uh, use your flipping, you know, driver or your, you know, your flipping cab service too much, or they maybe take some petty cash, whatever it may be. But there's maybe a word said on behind the scenes, so you don't your reputation doesn't get damaged. Maybe they, yeah, maybe they pull you to one side. Maybe you just get blacklisted from places. But it's, it, I would imagine you never go to criminal charges and whatnot. So I wonder what else happened that would make Raymond be like, nah, we have to we have to go to the fullest extent of the law to get this dealt with because this guy is too much. I wonder what that was the case. Maybe it was money. I don't know. Maybe something else happened that we don't really know about. But I was I was really curious why that was the case. But anyway, this is the update courtesy of Artnet News. It says Christian Rosa, the fallen art star accused of selling forged Raymond Pettibon paintings, has reportedly been arrested in Portugal. So that's where it was because I mentioned he fled the country when obviously um, the warrant was out for his arrest. No one knew where he was. Um, and I guess, you know, Portugal being the best place to be especially if you're a uh, artist on the run and you want to drown your sorrows because if I'm not mistaken you can carry up to 3.5 grams of drugs with you in your pocket so if you want to drown your sorrows in coke cat meth whatever that's a good place to go <laughs> allegedly allegedly no don't, don't sue me um Christian Rhodes are the former rising artist who um star was inducted so whose rising star was indicated this year on charges um, of selling fake Raymond Pettibon patents has been reportedly arrested. Rosa 43 was picked up in Portugal and is currently in the process of being extradited to the US according to Vanity Fair. Um, in October, shortly after charges were brought against him in the US attorney's office, the magazine pointed out that a picture posted on Instagram page of the artist's girlfriend, Austrian model Helen Severa, features a water bottle bearing the label Mil Fontes, suggesting that the couple may be hiding her in Portugal. Oh my God oh my god this dumb ass b-i-t-c-h posted a picture of her drinking water in portugal and somebody was able to grab the flipping label and track the boyfriend are you insane is this her is she a thing private now of course it's private but it's too late now you absolute bird oh my god helen what are you doing helen how dumb could you be so she posted a picture of her what enjoying a, a nice bottle of water you know sat in portugal enjoying the sun you know she's a pretty pale lady so getting some rays on that pale skin must have been so refreshing and hydrating and a little bit annoying because oh it's kind of burning and then boom somebody's able to take the bottle and you know zoom in on the label and see that clearly that label was from a bottle bought in portugal she couldn't even bought an evian bottle with that was just none or maybe a non just take out the label i oh, just don't oh god on my man these people man like <laughs> and again will she be there with him when he will she be do you think she's gonna hang around when her guy is spending countless years in prison or do you think she'll be chipping in if he gets fined an exorbitant amount of money or he has to pay back some damages do you think so do you really think so that's the issue it's one thing if you get caught it's all well and good right you get caught it is what it is you're both living a somewhat you know life of crime she must love the guy though 
that must be real love for a girl to decide to run away with a dude and also as well what kind of pussy does a guy have to be you go out there right you again i'm not a fan of what he did i think it's real scumbag stuff but if you did it you did it just die on die on your sword it is what it is you try to finagle this old guy because you thought he was decrepit and didn't really know what he was doing and wasn't really sharp enough and obviously he noticed what was going on and obviously you know press charges but you try to take advantage of somebody it didn't work out just kind of you know take the take the consequences by yourself don't let everybody else get involved don't rope people in it kind of reminds me of the juicy smollett thing juicy smollett was lying about that hate crime that he suffered clearly um the courts thought so but the thing that really pissed me off was the video of him leaving the court um leaving court when obviously the verdict was made and then you see a video of him obviously leaving with all his you know handlers around him just quickly trying to get into the car and then as the cameras are flashing um juicy just juicy he's obviously ignoring everybody and running away then five minutes later you see a couple of young ladies holding up an older lady who's clearly struggling to walk and they're heading out the door and then somebody was saying in the comments that was flipping juicy smallest mum he dragged his mother who's clearly older and suffering some sort of health complication whatever that's not allowing her to walk too tough and he put her through all of that going to the court every single day knowing that he lied that's what's the shameful part about it. it's not the fact that he made up the hate crime it is what it is no one really got hurt at the back of it whatever it's annoying and it's frustrating that he did that cool but you know in the end it's, it only hurt him really but then he has to kind of drag his whole family through the affair and have them suffer too. Same thing with this, this Christian Rosa dude. You did your scumbag stuff, just, you know, accept the punishment on your own or run away by yourself. Why are you dragging your girlfriend that happens to be a, a model, whatever, doing her thing along with you? Maybe this, maybe she's not a model anymore, but whatever. Like, it's just such a scumbag move. And her as well, posting a picture of her drinking a water bottle in the figure is just, ah, oh, epic levels of retardedness. It continues, says, the Vienna-based newspaper, The Standard, further reported that an Australian citizen, possibly Syrian, was also detained by Portuguese authorities. Over the paper, didn't know this guy's name. <laughs> bruv, this guy is a scumbag, bruv. He, he, he ruined his life and the life of this model. That has nothing to do with it. Or maybe she did help. I don't know. Who knows? I think this is the official... I think just the government says man charged with selling multiple forgeries by a contemporary artist petty bond is this a new article no this is from last year okay cool but this is some of the artworks that he was charged to have kind of stolen and whatever untitled it was a moment dropping da, da, da. you've seen it right you know what it is uh buh, 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 buh. and let's continue with the article here um, the Vienna-based newspaper, The Standard, further reported that Australian citizens uh, anyway, continues here. Yeah, spokesman for the U.S. Attorney's Office declined to comment on the reports when asked about the next steps of the Rosa following extradition. The representative explained that the indictment charging the defendant is pending. So, if and when the, in, he's in the U.S. custody, he would be presented and arranged in federal court here. Rosa's scheme allegedly took place between 2017 and 2020. During that time, he's believed to have stolen four unfinished ink and watercolor works on paper from the studio of Pettibon, a friend in the former mentor then completed the artworks himself creating fake certificates of authenticity for each rosa subsequently sold the forgeries on a second-hand market yo thinking back to it yeah this is real crackhead shit in it this is somebody who's definitely have a drug addiction has to be why would you do this up and coming artists you get taken under the wing by a very well-known and prominent artist who's willing to kind of show you the way and guide you through your kind of trajectory as you're kind of ascending the rungs of artists art celebrity whatever life it may be why would you do this why would you betray their trust like this especially when they invite you into their own home it's like wow why would you do that it has to be for drugs drugs will make you rationalize the most insane things in your head trust me i've been there it makes you rationalize the dumbest situations or it makes you rationalize the most insane things in your head in general that's the only way it makes sense to do this like, why would you go this far it's one thing taking finished works and selling them for a bit of, I, I don't get it i could never imagine doing stuff like this this is just a it's like going to someone's house party and stealing something from someone's house like what are you doing someone invited you to a party here you got to drink for quote unquote free, hang out, maybe hook up with somebody, have a little dance, and you're stealing. However, discerning collectors raised doubts about the legitimacy of at least one painting pointing to an uncharacteristic green tint found in the waves of the otherwise typical Petty One surf scene. Ah, oh, eagle eyed. Artist next um 
So the artist's text atop the paper also seemed unusually mannered and um, altered to the discrepancies. Petty Bond Studios reached out to the authorities. So the collectors that purchased the items, thinking they were real, were the ones who raised the alarm when then led Petty Bond to then get in contact. Maybe because he, he didn't know who it was. That's the thing. Maybe he didn't know it was um, Christian. He reported it because obviously it's a forgery. And then it was revealed through investigation that it was the Christian kid that did it. Um, it quote says he swindled buyers out of thousands of thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars and risked uh, a New York artist legacy for his forgery scheme. Said the U.S. Attorney Damian Williams said in a statement upon filing the charges against Rose in October. The artist faces one kind of wire fraud conspiracy, one kind of wire fraud, and one kind of aggravated identity theft. The wire fraud charges come with a maximum prison term of twenty years. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. While well, identity theft charges carry a mandatory two year sentence. Rosa's supposed actions were first publicized by Artnet in January of this year. A day after the article went live, the artist told an identified conspirator um, in an email that the secret is out. According to the documents quoted in the indictment, he fled for the country. He fled the country in February. So he's been living in February. He's been living in Portugal, what? February to when? To December. Probably thought he was going to have his first Christmas day and he got picked up. And then he decided to bring his missus along with him for the ride to do what? Like, and now she's going to have, what, charges against her or something as well. And a guy, that, a guy that would get his missus involved in something like this that he clearly did to himself is clearly not going to admit her from it too. He's definitely going to get involved. He's definitely going to fob her off or throw her under the bus or something. Maybe she was involved. Who knows? But what a sad story. What a sad way to end, man. Really, really sad way to end for both of them. But... <sighs> What can you do in it?